According to the new Living Planet Index, populations of mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians and fish have declined by an average of 52%. In Ghana alone, the lion population in one reserve fell by 90%. While populations of freshwater species have fallen by a staggering 76% in the last four decades. The index tracked more than 10,000 species from 1970 to 2010. The report blames human activity for the alarming drop in numbers with habitats destroyed more quickly than they can be replaced. While well, they're alarming figures, the report was produced with the London Zoological Society. Robin Freeman is here with me now, conservationist with the Society. Robin... They do seem quite alarming, these figures. Is it worse than you imagined it would be? Very much so, I think. Uh, this is a report that, in collaboration with the WWF, we produce uh, biennially every two years. And I think that uh, when we looked at the statistics and the, the populations that we were tracking this time, it's much worse than we previously thought. Now, which species are worst affected? So uh, one of the examples you gave, the lions have been quite badly affected over the last uh, uh, 40 years. But, for example, forest elephants have also seen about a 60% decline in the last 10 years. Um, tigers, over the last 100 years, have seen about a 90% decline worldwide. Freshwater species as well? Freshwater so, species, yeah. yeah. So uh, there are some frog species. There's about three species in Puerto Rico that have been seen to go extinct uh, in the last, uh, over the last decade or two. And we've seen in a variety of other similar species catastrophic declines. Is this our fault, Robin? Uh, there's a number of, of, when we identify the threats that these populations are facing, we see that habitat degradation and habitat loss are some of the most, uh, the largest threats facing these populations, which are likely due to human impacts. Uh, other factors that seem to uh, cause these declines are things like exploitation uh, by human industry and uh, an increasing amount of climate change is affecting these populations as well. The figures are staggering, but the warnings have been there for years. I mean, are you getting the sense that, that no one's listening? I think that it would be great if this was taken as a wake-up call to people to say, look, if we've lost about 50% of the animals in the wild in the last 40 years, in our, in our lifetimes, this is the point where we should stop this. We should make our, our, our living more sustainable, we should reduce our footprints and try to get to a point where we can stop these declines. So you don't feel like it's irreversible? You I think don't that think things no. can change? No, I don't think this is inevitable. I think there's various examples of places where people have managed to reduce their footprints while maintaining the standard of living which we expect, but we're going to have to do it together. It's going to have to be an industry, a business, a government uh, policy that's going to bring us together to reduce our impacts. There are, of course, different ecological footprints, as you've mentioned. I mean, who are the worst offenders? Uh, so the, some of the Western countries, the States, the UK, don't do very well in ecological footprints, but we, we have quite a high standard of living. There are some examples of places like Brazil and Turkey who have managed to increase their standard of living without substantially increasing their footprint. So it is possible to achieve increases in the standard of living without increasing our footprint. So is there a model that we should be looking at now, a country that's doing the right thing? Uh, I, I don't know if there's one particular model, but I think if we can bring together uh, the whole of our civilization to look at how we can approach these things more sustainably, to increase our use of sustainable resources, to decrease our footprints on and for various industries, then maybe we can make, let, make this change together. And is there a success story with some of the animals, with some of the species? There are some really it? nice examples. In the UK, for example, red kites have gone from just at the edge of extinction to about two to over 2,000 breeding pairs in the last uh, few decades. So that's about 10% of the global population is now within the UK alone. So.